Welcome to the Fane of Fantasy. Today's video will be the last installment in this series on Campaign Cartographer 3. This is a little secret trick uh, to how to make printouts of your map look really awesome. I will show it all here today. Okay, welcome back to the last screen sharing session with our uh, campaign cartographer for three uh, map making here. So last time we actually finished up our map uh, and this was where we ended. But uh, as I mentioned, I have a, a little secret trick I wanted to show you if we can call it that. Uh, but first of all, let's just talk one second about printing. So in the menu point up here, you can print your map. And when you click the printing option, you have this printing print drawing wizard coming up. And uh, of course that looks very much like uh, anything else when you print, except that you have some sections here that you don't normally see. Now, normally when I want to print something, I will choose everything here to make sure that it prints all the layers on the map. You can play around with this if you, uh, if you want. Uh, and the same thing goes for the scale. You can uh, change the scale of, uh, of how much it fits to the paper, but this is, uh, I never touched this to be honest. But where you can do something is you have something called tiling here, which is basically if I click the preview here, you can see now that it will print basically on a piece of paper and it looks completely normal. If we close this window again and press two in a horizontal and vertical tiling and do a preview again. It just takes a second to load. There you see now it's gonna print my map on four pieces of paper. So uh, one, two, three, four. And of course you can do that in this stuff in whatever way you want, list two and four, just to, to show you what that would look like. So now it's gonna to go two wide and four deep. Yeah, you can see our map is not really big enough to do it. So if you print it like this, you will get a very short piece on one piece of paper with a lot of white uh, and so forth. But the point is just use the preview button. Whenever you start tinkering with all of this stuff, you can also go portrait or landscape, but use the preview button because uh, I've tried so many times when uh, I wanted to print something, uh, and uh, especially if you want to print, print color, uh, then it just, just doesn't come out right. And then, uh, yeah, you just wasted a lot of time waiting on the printer there. So uh, use the preview and uh, check what it looks like before you start printing. Another thing I wanted to show you is if we bring up the sheets and effect uh, page again, then you remember in here where we added all our different uh, elements with like glows and stuff like that on the each layer. What you can do here in, in here as well, if, if you want to hide some of the stuff, uh, let's say you were using your map for a game or something and you want to um, to only allow the players playing in your game to see some of the elements on the map and not others so basically you want to hide some stuff for them and only have for example the full map for yourself or something like that you can actually use this in here let's say i don't want to show the people playing whatever game this is where the roads are if you click here you can bring up, I just left click and you can bring up an H which basically means hide so when I press OK now it has now hidden the roads we had so let's put it back and the roads is back so that's a way you can use you know, you can hide the different layers here um, if there are certain things you don't want to show. 
So that, that's a pretty neat uh, trick. Uh, and uh, once you know what that eight means, then it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But into the trick that I wanted to uh, talk to you about, it's really about, so when you want to print your map, if you want it to look like ancient and cool like that, there is a trick that you can apply. And the first thing you're going to do is all along while we've been using our drawing sheets and effects, we've been using the selected sheet. So basically I'm on the map text or on the roads or the rivers or wherever. That's where we have applied our effects until now. But if we change this one and say now I want to apply something to our whole drawing or in, in theory that means uh, or in, in effect that means our entire map. We click this whole drawing and then we click add. And once this window add effect comes up, you want to choose your RGB matrix process, which brings up this window. And that could look a bit daunting here, but actually, don't worry about it. Uh, I have a predefined, or the campaign card truck of the three has a predefined setting. And if we go in here, you can see we get a menu to choose from blue, gray, green, red, sepia, on, or unity. If you choose sepia and then click OK, and then click OK to take us back to the map, it will redraw. And voila! And look at that. We have a ancient, nice-looking map that we can now go on and print. And uh, I think this is a really, really nice little trick to, uh, to make your map look completely different. So there is much more you can do with can Campaign Kataka for 3 than uh, that I've covered here. But as I, as I explained in the uh, beginning videos in this series, this was a tutorial on exactly what you need to do step by step. Um, so you know now everything you need to to create your maps exactly where you should click and how to how to go about the whole thing um, if you do want to let's say advance your skills and become even more advanced with the with this piece of software then uh, please keep the rest of us informed in the comment section below i'm sure that uh, there's a lot of things that you could teach us uh, that even goes for me uh, i'm only basically going through the steps that I've shown you here myself. So uh, this is also as far as my skills more or less goes with this piece of uh, software. So once you have this, um, this map in place, this uh, basically go, gives you kind of a, a very good uh, either final map for your own setting or if you want to use it a, in a novel or something like, like I do, this is basically my first step to create a draft map that I will give to a cartographer so that uh, this person can make it even better and make it, make it look much, much better. And what, that's exactly what I just pulled up on the screen here for you. Uh, I did that off screen so you didn't have to look, look at me finding the files. But uh, basically these two maps are then something that was created on the back end of my campaign cartographer draft uh, map. So uh, this is two different cartographers who, who took that draft and, and basically enhanced it a lot to, um, to make it look even better. So these are the two maps I got created for Iris Dune, which is my setting for my uh, fantasy novel, uh, the Keystone Bone Trilogy. And uh, the one uh, uh, on the left uh, wasn't used in the end. So it's this one on the right that made it into the book. I basically ran a, a, a split testing, a, an A-B testing uh, on social media to see what people liked the most. And uh, it was the one on the right that was woded in to the uh, final version of the book. And it, it actually um, outperformed the uh, one on the left uh, quite heavily in the end result. So, uh, so that's, that's, that's it, people. And uh, this is, uh, this is uh, what, uh, what I wanted to uh, show and teach you with Campaign Kataka for 3. I truly hope that you have found uh, this uh, manual helpful. And uh, as you know, you can uh, download this, uh, 
step-by-step -step guide from end to end that I've shown you throughout the, all these videos for, for free. Um, I'll put a link to it uh, on the screen, but also in the description field below. So I would really love to hear what you think of, of this whole video series. So let me know on Facebook or uh, shoot me some tweets on Twitter. Uh, both uh, my links to uh, links to my Facebook and to, to my Twitter is also in the description field below. So uh, I truly hope this was all helpful to you. So uh, thanks a million for watching.